Get ready for an uncommon experience in the presence of God. Be expectant and open up your heart as God's word comes to you this morning. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola Oshumakinde. Welcome to another messy moment on a very beautiful Monday morning. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We worship you. We honor you. You know, you can join us wherever you are with your hands lifted up. Just give God praise in your closets. Whether you're on the road, you're at work already, or you're in your house, still preparing to go to work, or perhaps you're not going to work today, just give God praise. Thank Him for His goodness. Thank Him for His faithfulness. Heavenly Father, we worship You. We give You praise. We magnify Your name. We thank You for an opportunity to fellowship together this morning again. Open our eyes to Your Word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, I want to share something very beautiful with you this morning. And that is, I'm talking about the mighty warrior the mighty warrior. In Exodus chapter 15, verse 3, just after they crossed the Red Sea and they saw the destruction of the Egyptians or the, Egyptians army, the Egyptian army, um, they began to worship and they used one word. Exodus 15, 3, our God is a man of war. Our God is a man of war. Wow. 
a man of war, a mighty warrior. That's the meaning. What a description. See, the almighty God is not only for peace. He fights also. He fights for his people. He defends his own and he can never lose. Somebody's watching me this morning. Maybe you are going through the hottest battles of your life. Things are happening in such a way that like the whole world is against you. Everything is upside down. Crisis, problems here and there, commotion. But you need to know our God is a man of war. See, there's a story, that very lovely story in the book of uh, Isaiah. And that talks about the king called Sennacherib and king called Ezekiah. And it's a lovely story. And for time I can go into it, but I will just describe briefly what happened there. Sennacherib was making a threat, just talking against Ezekiah, against Judah. He was about to invade Judah, so Judah was about to be invaded. And Ezekiah went to pray. And the Lord said something to Ezekiah the king. Don't worry about Sennacherib, I will handle him. There were things that God said to prove to Sennacherib that, look, I'm a man of war. <laughs> Long and short of it, Sennacherib came with about 180 something thousand soldiers against Judah. He slept in the night with his soldiers. Only him woke up. The Bible says in the night, an angel of the Lord went and slew about 182,000 people. And Sennacherib was left alone. Now, God didn't stop there. He got his country and he was bowing before the God that he considers his own God and two of his own kids killed him. They stabbed him from behind and he died. God made Sennacherib to understand that talk of war, I'm the man of war here. I'm bringing this message to everybody this morning for one reason. Whatever battle you are fighting, there is a way you can give it to Jehovah. He fights better than any other person helping you. The battle belongs to God. Joseph has said, and you saw what happened. Everyone in the Bible and in this present day world who allowed God to fight their battle, all of them came up with songs of victory at the end of the battle. If you allow God to fight for you, there is only one end and that is testimony victory. That's what's gonna happen. Now I'm praying for somebody this morning that in the name of Jesus Christ, that battle you are facing, peace has come to you. Victory has come to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are destined to win. Our God is a man of war. Turn the battle over to him. He has over a million ways of fighting for his own people and he cannot lose. Oh, glory to God. He cannot lose. Glory to God. He cannot lose. Whatever you are facing this morning, maybe you are even facing a threat right now, coming from man. All other gods, they are the works of men. Just turn the battle over to God. He is the mighty man of war. And you are going to experience an unusual victory. Because if God be for you, who can be against you? Hallelujah. This is my message to you this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, may every battle bow before you. May they bow to the King, your King and your Lord. I pray that you come up with a mighty testimony very soon. It's your beautiful week. I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That your week is wonderful, your days will not be glorious. In the name of Jesus Christ. Till I come your way again next Monday. This is Mercy Moment on a beautiful Monday morning. I'm Shalosh Maggie. Remember, God is good and His mercy endures forever. Amen. <laughs>